Hi, I'm Johnny Fryer, and here's a quick instructional video to help you progress with your surfing. Okay, so in this clip, we're going to talk about how to deal with sort of overhead waves. So if you're a beginner surfer and you've just started paddling out the back and you just want to start building your confidence, then hopefully there's a few tips here that will help you um, feel comfortable out in the lineup. Before getting out the back and dealing with these waves, you're going to have to be comfortable with paddling out and you're going to have to know all your paddling out techniques. I've done another video, so you can check that out. Um, you're going to have to have a good quick pop up because if you're starting to surf bigger, heavier waves, there's really no time to make any mistakes on your takeoff. So you need a good quick pop up, you need to paddle out confidently and you need to be able to deal with the worst case scenario. So if you snap your leash when you're out the back, do you feel confident enough to be able to swim yourself back into shore? So these are all things that you want to feel comfortable with before you actually start to get out there in the first place. So first thing to make sure is that you buddy up when you go out. So especially if you're paddling out into waves that you feel are a little bit challenging for you at that point, uh, make sure you go out with a mate or with an instructor, um, just someone that's going to be looking out for you and that's obviously a good way to start your session. Okay, if you're surfing short boards, you might want to try surfing slightly bigger boards. Uh, you'll be able to paddle quicker, obviously, and it'll sort of take the edge off some of your takeoffs. So if you can catch the waves a little bit earlier, you'll find you've got some easier takeoffs and you'll have extra speed as well. So you'll be able to surf kind of out on the face a little bit more if you want, away from where that power is, if you're feeling a bit nervous about the, the power of the waves that you're in. So when you do get out the back, just take it slow when you first get out there. Maybe sit beyond the lineup, just a little further out than everyone else, and just chill out for a minute or two and just watch some of the sets come through, see how big the biggest waves are. And then when you feel comfortable, start making your way into where everything's happening, and then you can start picking off waves. So one of the things I see a lot of beginner or intermediate surfers do when they go out into more challenging conditions is they get tempted into surfing the smaller waves and while these smaller waves will sort of seem appealing there are a couple of problems with going for them now if you paddle for a small wave and miss it there's always the chance that you'll turn around and a big set of waves will come and then you're going to be in the impact zone and you are gonna have to deal with those waves the other thing is that when you surf small waves they generally tend to break further in towards the beach so you're always going to end up with a longer more difficult paddle out afterwards Okay, so let's say that you've caught a wave in and now you're paddling back out and a big set of waves comes and you have to deal with it. Now, hopefully if you're good at your duck dives and your rolls, then uh, you might be able to get through them. But at some point you're going to be getting washed about, you're going to spend a bit of time underwater, you're going to come up and you're going to be gasping for breath. So it's really important that between each of these waves, just try and find a few seconds where you just take a couple of good breaths, look at the next wave coming, and then get ready for it and really just try and take each wave as it comes okay it's quite easy when there's a lot of waves coming in it's quite easy to feel like it's just constant it's just a constant battle but really it's just individual waves and you need to try and find a little moment of calm in between each one so that you can sort of reset compose yourself get a good breath in and then get ready for the next wave so being nervous and being a little bit scared out in the water is all part of what makes surfing so addictive. So if you're out in the water and you're feeling that nervous energy, try and enjoy it a little bit and try and sort of turn it into a positive energy. Okay, so at some point you're probably gonna get rumbled, you're gonna have to maybe duck dive some bigger waves. So if you're not getting down to the beach often or you live away from the beach, then you know it's always good to get in the pool back at home, do some laps and especially just practice doing some breath holds uh, when you're swimming as well and that'll probably make dealing with these kind of awkward moments a little bit easier when you're out there. Okay so thanks a lot for watching and hopefully there's a few things there that are going to help you in your surfing. If you want a more tailored approach and some more in-depth coaching you can always book a private surf coaching session or check out the surf coaching weekends and surf coaching holidays through Newquay Activity Centre. Hope that helps. Look out for some more videos coming soon and see you out in the water.